NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, who is a former senator and an astronaut, appeared on various news programs to discuss the Pentagon's report on mysterious aircrafts. Although he did not confirm the existence of advanced life, he believes that the report's findings indicate that there is something noteworthy to be considered. According to Nelson, if our adversaries possess this technology, it could pose a serious threat to national security. NASA have also announced that they're studying these objects closely and have said in press releases that they will be revealing their findings to the public. The phenomenon of unidentified objects has become more widely recognized recently. Following the uncovering of research by news outlets, lawmakers have requested that the government reveal more information about this topic, including sightings and possible explanation for what they are. As a result, the Pentagon is scheduled to disclose a much-awaited report on this topic sometime this week. NASA is also interested in researching unexplained objects in the sky alongside the Department of Defense. They are joining forces to investigate unidentified aerial phenomena to uncover the truth about these occurrences. NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, urged the agency's scientists to investigate because people are curious. Prior to being the head of NASA, Nelson served as a senator and was a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. He said that he has personally conversed with Navy pilots who are confident in their sighting of an unidentified object. To gain a better comprehension of this elusive phenomenon, he has reached out to a team of scientists at NASA for assistance. NASA has been exploring the possibility of extraterrestrial life for several years now, and their latest mission involves uncovering evidence of life on the Red Planet through the Perseverance rover. Meanwhile, their investigation into mysterious aircrafts is still in its early stages on Earth. According to Rob Swiatek, who is a board member of the Mutual UFO Network, a non-profit organization that examines reports of sightings, serious researchers have been advocating for scientific investigations into the phenomenon for years. They want organizations and individuals with the necessary resources and equipment to explore this issue because they believe that it is worth investigating. Although this research has often been dismissed and viewed as a fringe science, it has been gaining more mainstream interest and credibility now that NASA is involved. According to Swiatek, once the report is released, even scientists who were previously skeptical about mysterious aircrafts might find it intriguing and want to participate in the study. As the fascination with these objects continues to surge, the public's attitude towards the subject is also shifting. According to Sarah Scholes, an expert journalist and writer, this transformation stems from increased discussions within the military and intelligence circles. According to an expert on these types of sightings, a vast majority of Americans hold the belief that mysterious aircrafts are something that exists and that people have witnessed unexplainable phenomena. When given the opportunity to discuss these sightings in a judgment-free environment, many more individuals tend to express their observations than expected. They become willing to share their experiences once they feel safe and secure. As of right now, NASA's shift on this topic has caused some to suggest that disclosure will happen within the next couple of years, with believers saying that all of this talk about mysterious aircrafts is to prepare people for what's coming. Those who've followed this topic closely have said that there's definitely been a shift in how people view these sightings, and note that the military along with NASA have known about these aircrafts for years. As of right now, all we can do is wait and hope that new evidence comes to light. James Webb Space Telescope takes first photo of an alien world. When it comes to study of worlds besides our own, we have already discovered hundreds upon thousands of exoplanets with interesting characteristics, orbiting their own versions of our Sun. Although any one of them might be operating under the just right conditions to sustain life, it has been hard for researchers to come to any certain conclusions about these faraway worlds because we lacked the technology to view them in greater detail. It appears that the James Webb Space Telescope is going to change all of this, as it recently captured its first direct images of an exoplanet HIP 65426b. Through these images, scientists were able to determine that this planet has a mass of about seven times more than Jupiter. It's also incredibly hot, with cloud tops measuring at temperatures of about 1400 degrees Celsius. 
Although the existence of HIP-65426b was already known to researchers, it had been discovered in an indirect way that most alien planets are discovered. Typically, researchers are able to identify exoplanets by watching the actions of their host stars and other bodies in order to infer the presence of a planet. Many of them orbit so close to their stars that it makes direct imaging nearly impossible. This was one such planet which researchers knew about but had never seen directly. The JWST changed that, using several coronagraphs which allow it to photograph planets while blocking out the overwhelmingly bright light from nearby stars. Although the finer details of the planet remain hidden, the photograph simply shows a bright dot glowing a short distance away from its sun. The fact that the telescope was able to capture such an image is a huge advancement for researchers. In fact, although the James Webb Space Telescope was already widely touted as an incredible technological advancement for space research, it has been delivering at levels that are approximately 10 times better than projected. This greatly widens the realm of potential discoveries that might be made with the spectacular capabilities of this telescope. The discovery of the existence of exoplanets was in fact a fairly recent occurrence, and although we certainly know that there are more Earth-like worlds than we could have ever imagined, the more minute details have continued to evade researchers due to the indirect nature of most of their discoveries. These incredible photographs from the JWST have indicated that soon we will be able to have direct observations of many more exoplanets, and the far unparalleled performance of the photographs means that we will likely be able to observe alien planets with sizes much, much smaller than expected. NASA fixed Voyager 1 even though it's in interstellar space When it comes to space, Voyager 1 has become somewhat of a fixture. Launched in September of 1977 and exploring the depths of space for 45 years, the space probe has been the catalyst for dozens of vital discoveries that have proven foundational to our understanding of space and the cosmos at large. Originally only expected to have a lifespan of about four years, currently Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object in space at over 10 billion miles away from Earth. Earlier this year, it seemed that Voyager 1 may have finally begun a slow decline into dysfunction, as it started to send back garbled, unreadable data. Unsurprisingly, it's rather difficult to repair space probes when they are deep within interstellar space billions of miles away, so the research team working with the probe began to fear that the end was near for Voyager 1. But researchers on the Voyager team were able to figure out a way to resolve the glitch, which was no small feat when dealing with technology that was created almost half a century ago. It turned out that the probe itself was still functioning well and sending out strong signals, but a computer on board had gone faulty several years prior and was responsible for jumbling the information as it left the probe to be beamed to Earth. This made it a rather easy fix, as the research team simply instructed the control system to reroute the information through a second working computer on board instead. The fact that the issue was purely technological was lucky for the Voyager team, as a mechanical failing would likely be fatal to the mission. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager, issued a press release concerning the issue, stating that we're happy to have the telemetry back. We'll do a full memory readout of the AACS and look at everything it's been doing. That will help us try to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place, so we're cautiously optimistic, but we still have more investigating to do. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, are iconic pieces of space history that have quite literally blazed new trails through interstellar space in the decades that they have been active. The information that they have provided to scientists back on Earth has proven invaluable to our knowledge of what lies beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Researchers expect that, although they were able to sort out the current Voyager 1 glitch, the pair of vintage space probes will begin to go offline by 2025 only a few years away. But for a lifespan of over four decades past the original projections, Voyagers 1 and 2 have certainly lived long lives and well fulfilled their duty to scientific exploration and discovery.
a resident in Texas reported seeing a mysterious object in the sky. The eyewitness submitted a report to the Mutual UFO Network, an organization that investigates mysterious aircrafts, and reported that as the sun was setting, they captured some images of patterns that had formed in the clouds. They reported that to ensure the quality of their images, they snapped three shots at once. However, upon reviewing the photos, they were unaware of what they had captured, noting that in the background, a strange black object could be seen close to the clouds. They showed the mysterious object to their wife, but both of them couldn't agree on what this object was, further adding that there wasn't anything in the area at the time the image was taken. The resident explained that the absence of trees where he lives means that there are no birds around and caused him to rule out the possibility that this was an animal. The eyewitness had said that they are looking for an answer as to what this object could be. Interestingly enough, other people came forward and said that they had seen the same thing and detailed that the object could be seen breaking through the clouds. One resident by the name of Mary Thompson had an extraordinary encounter with an object that looked nearly identical to this one. Mary described that as she was walking her dog, she couldn't help but notice the sky above. High above, amidst the backdrop of the fading daylight, she spotted an unusual object moving through the sky. It was a large black object, silently gliding across the horizon. Mary watched the enigmatic craft, captivated by its otherworldly presence. She stood there in awe, unable to comprehend what she was witnessing, noting that the object didn't match anything that she had seen before. The mysterious black object defied all conventional understanding, and she detailed that it moved with such grace and precision. Mary's mind raced with questions, trying to rationalize the inexplicable sight before her eyes. She detailed that she tried to take a photograph of the mysterious object, but noted that her phone's camera wasn't up to the task, and the resulting images were too blurry to make out anything. As Mary continued to watch the mysterious craft, a sense of excitement and curiosity overwhelmed her. After seeing these photographs, she reported that it reminded her of the object that she had seen and said that the black object she witnessed was the same shape as this one. She also detailed that the object appeared to be rotating. The topic of mysterious aircrafts above Texas has captivated the public's imagination for decades, leading to a surge in reported sightings and encounters and causing eyewitnesses to come forward with their encounters. While the nature and origin of these unidentified objects above Texas remain a subject of debate. The number of reported sightings in the United States is quite substantial and has led to researchers into the unknown to say that these sightings and encounters should be taken more seriously. The United States, with its vast territory and diverse population, has been a hotspot for unidentified sightings. Over the years, numerous individuals from all walks of life have come forward to share their experiences, ranging from strange lights in the sky to encounters with mysterious craft. And interestingly, due to the amount of encounters that have been reported, it's led to astronauts and military personnel to come forward with their sightings, which many have said adds credibility to these claims. The exact number of reported sightings in the United States varies from year to year. Organizations that research these aircrafts have provided valuable data for analysis and investigation. According to available records, thousands of sightings are reported in the United States annually, and in some years, the numbers reach into the tens of thousands, indicating a significant interest and ongoing fascination with the phenomenon. It is important to note that not all reported sightings can be classified as genuine encounters. Many sightings turn out to have conventional explanations, such as misidentified aircraft, weather phenomena, or even hoaxes. However, a significant percentage of cases remain unexplained, leaving room for speculation and further investigation. Some of the most commonly reported sightings include objects exhibiting unusual flight patterns, high speeds, or abrupt changes in direction. Witnesses often describe seeing bright lights, saucer-shaped craft, or triangular formations in the sky. Some reports even describe close encounters with beings or entities associated with these unidentified objects. The Lone Star State of Texas, with its vast landscapes and diverse population, has been a hotspot for sightings and encounters. Over the years, numerous reports have emerged from various regions, captivating the imagination of residents and sparking curiosity among enthusiasts. 
One of the most famous incidents in Texas occurred in 1957 in the small town of Leverland. Multiple witnesses reported seeing a large, egg-shaped object with bright lights that allegedly caused their vehicles to stall or malfunction. The incident gained significant media attention, drawing the interest of researchers and investigators from around the country. In addition to the Leveland incident, Texas has been the site of numerous other reported sightings. Witnesses have described a wide range of phenomena, including sightings of disc-shaped objects, triangular craft, and mysterious lights in the night sky. Over the years, numerous residents reported seeing a massive silent object with flashing lights moving at high speeds. The incident gained national attention and prompted investigations by both local authorities and researchers. Reports of sightings in Texas often involve witnesses from different backgrounds, including military personnel, law enforcement officers, and everyday citizens. Many sightings occur in rural areas where the night sky is free from light pollution, allowing for clearer observations of unusual aerial phenomena. The Gulf Coast region of Texas has also seen its fair share of sightings. The proximity to the Gulf of Mexico and the area's extensive waterways have led to reports of unidentified objects emerging from or descending into the water. Witnesses have described bright lights or strange craft performing unusual maneuvers in the sky before disappearing without a trace. The advent of modern technology and the widespread use of smartphones have made it easier than ever for individuals to document and share their sightings. Photos and videos captured by eyewitnesses can provide valuable visual evidence, although their authenticity and reliability must be carefully evaluated. While the number of reported sightings is significant, it is important to consider that not all sightings are reported. Many witnesses choose not to come forward due to fear of ridicule or skepticism. Therefore, the actual number of encounters may be much higher than the reported figures. So, what do you make of this strange object that was photographed above Texas? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.